Why, hello there, Internet. I have myself a RGB modified Nintendo Entertainment System toaster style. Let us play this test file. Oh, well, let's just split for just for fun, just to see what the splits look like. Okay, here, let's split again. Look how good that looks. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Get some R and R, Red Lady. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done anything in Zelda 2. Let's see how the walls look, because okay, they are the normal color. So this palette is not like other RGB mods where it kind of changes pinks and makes them orange. This seems to be like the original. NES palette. So I did this through... What the hell is the guy's shop called? I forget what the guy's shop is called. Maybe it's like Retro Fixes? I have his card. Um, I have his card somewhere, I just don't know where it is. But yeah, it cost a little over 200 bucks to get this done, including shipping, of course. Um, I also got a SCART cable made, which was another $35. I could have made it myself for $25 or something, but I just said, you know, you order the kit and put it together or whatever. I don't want to do that. Uh, and the SCART cable actually has a Mini DIN 8 hookup and a 3.5 millimeter cable. Uh, and you can kind of like swap those cables out. So if the the DIN 8 cable messes up in some way, you could just buy a new one of those for like 10 bucks. Uh, or, you know, likewise the 3.5 millimeter audio cable. I think it's a pretty smart solution instead of having to replace the entire SCART connector. So. Yeah. You know what sucks about Zelda 2 is when you go in the overworld, it has those black bars on the sides because it gets like more square or whatever. That was not intentional. Sick, not bubble skip. I don't know if you stand right here. There you go. It's been so long, dude. I'm playing without uh, sound right now, so it's, it's kind of bizarre. Man, this just looks fucking phenomenal. Oh, just can't even jump upstairs. That's how good I am at this game, though. So if you stab backwards, you preserve your momentum in the air. Whereas if you... Any any crouching stab preserves uh, forward momentum in the air, but... If you stab backwards, even without crouching, you preserve that momentum, which is interesting. Supposed to. There's a really tricky falling stab you can do there. 
jumped away. Man, those bots are just completely unpredictable. What? How did that happen? I get caught in the elevator. That was close. I think audio plays an important part, so if you, if you mute the TV, it's kind of hard to play this game. There we go. More like it. I think they skip the skeleton and get it later. I don't know. Whatever. Nice non stab. I thought I had beam sword as well. Like an idiot. Key grab. Grab that key. I can never get this part. I did actually. I did get it. And then I chickened out. Man, this just looks fucking phenomenal. Six. Oh, I must have got hit by one of these or something. Oh no, I didn't go in the cage. Yeah. I need to do a fall stab here. Boom. So you stab on the wall there uh, to get you closer to the direction you're going, or sometimes you want to get further. We used to reset. If you come from this side of the elevator, you get an easier pattern. Uh, but you can actually just go down the elevator and stab that way. And of course, I was not used to that pattern, so there's that. That's usually what you do if you have no beam sword. Moves I'm doing. I don't really notice any latency. I'm using a frame meister, obviously. So. Oh, we gotta do a standing stab? Near? I don't know. Why? Why are you gonna be like this? Are you? Alright, so I'm gonna see what happens when I do the power pack thingy. Opens up immediately. I don't... I have to set up the save states. I don't know how to do it. I should look it up. Um, exit to menu. It, it's instant. It seems like it's instant, which is fucking great because the Mega EverDrive is not instant. So let's just go into another game and see how the overscan works. Because this layout is built for Zelda 2, obviously. So let's do... Zelda 1. Okay. Getting a good look at that title screen. Alright. I can't look at it right now. But, you know, let's hope that it's okay. There's no jail borrowing or anything like that. It's absolutely a perfect picture. I believe that if you mod the top loader, the, the American top loader, there's a uh, jail barring, I 
think it's pretty much impossible to remove it, but could be wrong. Could have got an AV Famicom, but of course, that's that costs like over 100 bucks in itself. So why do that? I'll just have to replace this pin at some point. Hopefully the sound is staying in sync and everything. Okay, the overscan works differently per NES game. It's not like the Genesis where it's all pretty much the same. Based low low. Alright. I'll have to figure out that save state thing. The Zelda 2 wannabe. Oh my god, I gotta split. Music's tight in Rambo, though. It's too bad that the hitbox on the knife is just abysmal. Man, this music is good. I'm not hearing the music, but I'm assuming that's what the sound is. Boom, 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 boom. Look how big he is compared to the helicopter, yes? But there's a lot of frame rate issues with this game, so... I think you gotta talk to the colonel first. Go to the hangar. I had to talk to Murdoch. like Zelda 2, but it is not. Oh my god! Oh my god! Why is the wildlife so angry at me? Look at that hitbox. It's like I just swung it right in front of him. You can't do any crouch stabs, but you can. I mean, not in the air, I mean. Its animation is really slow, too. Wait, stab. Got it. Oh, nothing there. This is also another one of those like Friday the 13th confusing map directions. I just can't understand the B patterns. You son of a bitch. Oh my god, it's a tiger. Damage boost always goes the wrong way. That's a shame as well. Go south. Okay, this must be where she is. Our informant. Co. Wait, no, you're the boat guy. How did I get here? Damn it. Whatever. Whatever. Stupid. I intentionally tried to avoid the boat guy because I need to find Co first, but. James Bond Jr. is one of my favorite NES games. People don't get it, but it's legit. It's legit. The music's tight too. As usual. Press start. Press start pool. Jumps like he's on the moon. You could say that uh pretty floaty. Of course I always miss that. You can damage boost as well. Q. 
can't jump on the ladders. Look at that climb animation, though. You can jump off the ladder, which is good. Nice touch. Come on, dude. You're cheating. Don't too many bullets. Alright. Okay, hold on. Ah. White and blue, right? Okay. This would be a blue on each. Um. Fuck this game. Fuck it. I'm, I'm not gonna solve the shitty puzzle. Get out of here. I remember having a lot of problems with those. There's multiple of them in the game. I don't have a, a complete ROM set on here, so it's like, let's try out some SMB3, Legend game. Oh, I should try out uh, CB3 as well, because that's a, uh... good God, look at how clean this is. Good God. So crisp. In a way, guys. I'm going, baby. That's not P speed. It was P speed, I thought. Testing the overlay, that's all. Let's go with my favorite Ninja Gaiden. Every Ninja Gaiden controls differently. I find that strange. Like, all the physics are different. I believe that... Come on, Hitbox. I believe it's the clones that are really broken in this game. I think the Ninja Clones. Nice. What are you doing? You're a three inch jump. A special ninja. Three inch jump. Hey! Ninja. Where are my Where are my clones at? Les Enfants. Terrible. It's not a clone, dude. Can I go in here? Is that a door? <laughs> what if Ninja Guy on 2 is like Zelda 2? That would be sick. What if it was like this in an open world? Oh my god. And now I'm having dreams to amazing Ninja Gaiden 4. Think about it. Stop it! That's not quite... I wanted to grab the ladder. Okay. Skills. Skills to pay the bills. Um, hmm. Go Castlevania, of course. The good one, the third. Wonder if this works. Wonder if it works. Okay, it doesn't do the whole loading chip thing. 
I wonder if I'm supposed to install some thingy. Because I, I believe you can't actually use a menu in this game. You can't use the in-game menu. Like, there's no... Yeah, see, you can't do it. Or at least maybe it's just this version of the... Maybe I just have to clean out my... Because that is the new power mappers. I'll have to look into it. I don't know. Split. I'll have to look into it. You could say there's like a slight latency with the upscaling, but it's really not that bad because uh, if you play it on emulator, the latency is higher than this. Right, so if you can play this on emulator, it'd be no problem. And it's definitely a lower latency than the emulator. I did an idiot thing. Uh, unfortunately, I can't go back to the in-game menu, so that'll be the end of this video. Uh, yeah, good test.